My name is Marquetta Johnson, and I'm a textile artist, teaching artist, and a quilter. So I've had an opportunity to be exposed and to be able to explore and grow and develop as it relates to the needle and to fabric. I actually started quilting about, let's say, hmm, I'm going to say about 30 years ago, how I originally started being creative. When I was in high school, I was a challenge for my teachers. Martin Luther King had just been assassinated and the uh, climate in my community was one of uh, not just indignation, but a kind of inner rage that for me came out in me kind of acting out in school a bit, okay? There was a teacher named K.M. Brown that recognized something in me. She took me aside and taught me how to crochet. And she told me that if I was quiet and would get my work done, that I could crochet under my desk just like this. So what you see before you right now is a product of wonderful teachers and people in my community that saw something in me even when I didn't recognize that spark of brilliance that existed in me. I have the wonderful opportunity to have additional space in my home that I could dedicate to my sewing, my quilting, my painting, my beading, whatever I would like to do. Actually, you could call it a wonder room. When you're making a quilt, you start with your quilt top. Sometimes I make whole cloth quilts where the top is one piece of fabric and I might add things to it. Most times I take pieces of fabric and cut them into different geometric shapes and then sew them back together to create what is called the quilt top. I take my quilt top and I take batting. You'll make what we call a quilt sandwich where you lay down your back, you put your batting down, and then you put your quilt top on top of that. You try to make sure that you're putting it and layering it in such a way that the quilt top is in the exact center of your batting and your back. Batting is usually polyester, cotton, silk, or wool, but I happen to use cotton batting. The first fabric I'm testing out is polyester. When you light the flame and put it to polyester, it just melts like that. Now on the other hand, when you have cotton and you light cotton up, cotton does a slow burn and it smolders and it's soft. That's how you know it's cotton. If we compare the cotton with the polyester, look. Cotton burn, polyester burn. One of the things that I find really amazing about being a maker, about being an artist, is how as you're creating, you're actually growing your intellect. You're actually growing your problem-solving skills as you're doing this. 
quilters think about the same thing that artists think about when they're making their work. Artists think about color. And as you can see, I'm thinking about color. I live color. I am color. I'm a multi-sensory artist. That means for me that I am creating artwork that not only is a visual experience, but it's a tactile experience. You think about texture because the question arises, what is beautiful, what is amazing to someone that can't see? Beads and buttons and shells, all kind of embellishments have their own weight and their own temperature. What I find being in a wheelchair, as far as my creativity is concerned, I feel that my wheelchair has been a catalyst for me as far as giving me something to strive for. Um, one of the things that I'm looking forward to be able to do in the future is to bring quilting to college campuses, to bring quiltings to elementary schools, to high schools, not just sharing my work and letting them see it, but to actually have the opportunity to hold a needle in their hand. I was at the High Museum and I had went upstairs to pick up my group of students. There was a young boy in that class that they had, the school had sent the coach on the field trip with them to contain this one young student, okay? They told me, he's bad. As I told you before, when I was in school, I got that same label. He sat there quietly, not disturbing anyone, building a structure from cardboard. His teachers were so shocked that they took pictures and they said they were taking that back to the principal so that they could be encouraged to develop a maker space. Art has a place in every aspect of my life. And it seems as if my relationships with people are based on creativity and intellectual pursuits. And so with that, I say that I have the fortunate opportunity to live that artful life. Thanks for watching. Visit us at AIBTV.com. Follow us at Watch AIBTV on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And subscribe to AIB Studios on YouTube.